Governor Ernie Shearer became frustrated that people were not stopping at this stop sign. He videotaped the intersection to highlight the problem. Shearer attached his cell phone camera to the headrest in his car as it sat in his driveway yesterday evening. In a 17-minute span, 44 cars passed through the intersection. Nine stopped, 13 came to a rolling stop, and 22 flat out ran the stop sign. It's a pattern. From about 5 o'clock to about 7 o'clock, this neighborhood's got kids in the street riding bicycles, playing ball, running across the street to each other's homes. Uh, it's gotten so bad we can't like, like let our grandkids play out here in front. Um, it's, it's extremely da dangerous. Other neighbors are also concerned. And it do makes me mad because I got a daughter of my own and I got a niece and they come out here every day and play and we bring them out sometimes and it could be an accident sometime and it wouldn't really be our fault. It would be the drivers at fault but they're not paying attention to everybody and what's going on around them. Shearer sent a series of emails to police and they did send motorcycle officers three times to monitor the intersection over the course of three months. On one email Shearer wrote just how many times Times do you require someone to beg before being taken seriously? He also enlisted a city county councilwoman for help. I plan on talking to traffic today to see if maybe we can possibly get some to some motorcycle um, police out here to, to take care of this. Um, they have been out in the past, but not enough to um, satisfy Ernie. Response was swift today. We started working on the story at 10.15 a.m. We witnessed at least three cars blow through the stop sign ourselves, and by noon, motorcycle police officers were on the scene issuing citations. The officers told us the violations were blatant. Some did not even tap their brakes. The motorcycle police units will not be here every day, but officials hope the threat of them being here will change behavior. Derek Thomas, RTV6.